Hello Libra and welcome whoops, to your November 2018. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Libra, 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 Libra for November 2018. How do they feel about Libra? We're going to take a look at how they are feeling and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings, okay? This is for Libra. How do they feel about Libra for November 2018? How do they feel about Libra for November 2018? Mm, we have honeymoon here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So to me, they feel emotionally distant from you. Or this could be an actual physical distance. That's what I'm getting. To me, this is very representative of the Six of Swords. Six, yeah, Six of Swords in the Tarot, right? Trying to get out of a dramatic situation this, um, and moving on to more peaceful territory. Um, I feel like you are the peaceful territory here. They may be traveling to come and see you, all right? So there is distance here between the two of you emotionally, physically, or both, right? They want to um, get rid of that distance, okay? They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and honestly discuss how they're feeling with you, all right? So I think they're tired of this distance. They're tired of not being around you. They're tired of not talking to you. Um, so they, you know, may want to travel to come see you or at least um, make a phone call to bridge that distance, whether it's um, emotionally or a physical distance here, okay? All right, so this is for Libra. We'll pull some tarot on this, see what's going on. Libra, November 2018. How do they feel about Libra for November 2018 for Libra? Keep in mind that these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay, so however it resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, Libra, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If it doesn't resonate with you at all, Libra, Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. This is for Libra. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so they want a, a new beginning with you here. They want you to take a risk with them, okay? They want you to start fresh. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, we'll find out, right? I got fire here so far. I've got air here, but it could be any sign. It's a general reading, but this fool card is usually representative of Aries since they are the babies of the tarot or the zodiac, right? So they want you to take a risk with them. They want a fresh new start here with you. But they feel like you are not being honest, you know. They may not be, you know, honest with how they're feeling either. Um, that's where this comes in, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So we can honestly, see that, honestly discuss your feelings. Nobody's opening up. Nobody's being honest about how they feel. Okay, so Seven of Swords here. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They also see you as being somebody that's been through a lot. And um, your walls may be up, you know, the Wounded Warrior card here. So your defenses are up, and um, they know that it's going to take some work 
for you to, for those walls to come tumbling down okay cue Beyonce but we have the nine of wands here this is fire energy Aries Leo and Sagittarius so they see you as a person that has been through a lot of shit Basically, you've been through hell and your defenses are up and you just simply don't let just anybody into your life. And they know this about you. Okay? They know this about you. What they want is a second chance here. So this very well could be somebody from your past. Right? They want a second chance here. They want to bridge this emotional or physical distance between the two of you. They want you to take a risk with them and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and honestly open up to them, okay? And they know that it's going to be a lot of work. Maybe you made a final decision about them in the past, but here they are and they're wanting a second chance here, Libra. They're thinking about this second chance. Okay, so... Any more information for Libra in regards to how this person is feeling or what they're going to do about those feelings? What are they going to do here? How do they feel? Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. A lot of major arcana here. And so much Libra energy in this tiny little thing, okay? So they want a balance with you. They want reciprocity with you. They want an equal give and take here. And you see your scales are right there. They feel like things would be equal between the two of you, okay? They feel like if if they open up to you, you, you might open up to them okay and honestly discuss your feelings if they put the work in they feel like you would put the work in things would be equal things would be balanced between the two of you reciprocity right six of pinnacles this is earth energy taurus virgo and capricorn so What's going on here is somebody in the equation might need to be completing a cycle before they start a new chapter with you or vice versa. This could be, you know, a cycle between the two of you has ended and they want to start again, especially with that fool card from earlier at the bottom of the deck, right? A whole new chapter here. They want to turn the page. They want to start fresh. They want things to be balanced, right? whole new chapter here between the two of you and then here you are the empress this is how they see you male or female it does not matter very caring very nurturing this is the mother of the tarot you could be a good parent a very abundant able to take care of yourself the empress here is ruled by venus right and that is libra and taurus as well but this is you this is how they see you potential for new beginnings, potential for growth and balance, right? They just know it's going to be a fight for you, for them to let your guard down and open up to them. That's, that's, um, I think that's what they're worried about. But I feel like they're coming back in for a second chance here. So the empress here, right? They see this beautiful person that's very caring and nurturing and the potential for growth with you and to start this new chapter is, is very strong with them, okay? And then again, we have the justice card here. I mean, clearly this is your reading and they see you for, for what you are. Truth and justice, right? Balance, clarity, you see? the sword here justice is all libra they see you for what you are and they love it okay they want more of it they feel like things would be fair with you again with those libra scales right there things would be balanced you would be true to them you would be honest with them right with that sword there no bullshit they don't see you as you know 
a flighty bullshit kind of a person. They see you for what you are, a beautiful, fair, and just human being, right? Male or female, it does not matter. They want to bridge this distance between the two of you and have a very deep heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Libra. And so much energy here. They see you for, for what you are, okay? And these scales here, things will be balanced with you. Things will be balanced. If they, you know, with this honeymoon card, are going through something that's a little um, dramatic or a lot dramatic, whatever, and they know that they can travel towards you, and that's where they're going to find um, their peace. That's where they're going to find the rest of this reciprocity is with you, Libra. And they know this. They know this. But you present a challenge to them. You definitely present a challenge to them. And they know that they, they've got their work cut out for them, Libra, <laughs> to get those walls to come tumbling down. All right, Libra. So that is how they're feeling about you. So yeah pretty good i mean this is you all over the place all right so i go live sunday through thursday around noon eastern standard time uh, for the daily message and then um friday is of course the live love lust your loss also around noon eastern standard time next week i will already be getting out the mid-month check-ins november is flying by flying by. All right, you guys have a beautiful evening, and I will talk to you soon, okay? God bless.